just finished working out and I got my favorite smoothie. It's got coconut, orange juice, banana, and vanilla protein powder. It's so delicious. And then I also got an egg white wrap. And for lunch, I grabbed their um, breakfast wrap. It's got egg white, spinach, and cheese and hot sauce. And it's delicious. So good. Hey guys, so we are decorating our Christmas tree today. This one is in our basement. I decided to put it down here this year because there's just, there's more room for the kids and our family to sit and open presents and then just the mess and the toys and everything can stay down here. The last couple years I've been putting the tree up upstairs in our living room and it just gets a little crowded. So anyway, I fluffed the tree last night. I've had this tree for quite a few years. It's just got like the built-in white lights um, I picked up this really pretty mesh kind of iridescent ribbon from Michaels. Um, so I put, I think I had three rolls of it that I put on the tree. And then I also grabbed some of these little flocked branches from Canadian Tire and I just cut them apart and then just stuck little pieces here and there just to give it a little bit more texture and interest, I guess. So then over here, uh, I got a new tree skirt. This one I got from Michaels. It's a light pink kind of quilted and then it's got the faux fur. The ornaments that I chose this year are like a rose gold and then kind of a blush tone pink. And then I also got these really cute butterflies from Michaels. They're rose gold and gold. So yeah, kids and I are gonna put the decorations on and I'll let you guys know how it goes. basement right now. Um, unfortunately, I need to get another extension cord to plug the star in at the top, but I think it's pretty. I really love the butterflies. Um, I'm hoping to be able to find a few more, but I'm liking the blush and the rose gold. I kind of miss it in my living room. Jake's here, but um, I don't know. I just think there'll be so much more room down here on Christmas morning, so. Yeah, so that's one tree, and I'll show you guys the other two little ones that we decorated. So this is the little tree that the boys uh, decorated. They're calling it the man tree, which I think is really funny. Um, so they've got like superheroes, they've got some video game controllers, this one's really cool. It's like an old school Pac-Man game. You've got a little multi-tool down here, uh, a razor, a little, I think that has some poker chips, yeah. Um, this one's my husband's, but it's a little beer keg. A little Nerf gun. Oh, and this one's really cool. I found this at a craft fair this year. So my husband and my son both love Batman. Let me get this to focus. So hopefully you guys can tell, but this lady, and I'll link her Instagram below, it's called Ornamental Love, and um, she takes old comic books and she rolls them up and puts them inside ornaments. So this is full of like old Batman comics, which I thought was really cute. She also had like Harry Potter and Superman and all kinds of stuff, but. So that is tree number two. Okay, so then this is our final tree for right now. I think I might actually move it into, into the living room. It's cute in the dining room, but I miss having a tree in the living room. So this is just our little confectionery tree that Gemma and I put together every year. Sorry, it's a little dark, but it's pitch dark outside. So we've got our gingerbread houses and we've got our cotton candy machine, which is one of my favorite ornaments on this tree. We've got our little mixer got some ice cream cones. We've got another little gingerbread house and we've got our sparkly little um, tree skirt down here. 
And then I just picked up these little pink bows last year at the dollar store. And I think they add a really cute little touch. We've got, what else do we have? We have a few little macaroons. There's one. And then I love this ornament too. We've got some donuts little chocolate chuckle. Most of these ornaments came from Michael's. The little gingerbread man and his little gingerbread muffins are a, a new a new ornament this year that I showed you guys last week. Yeah, so we've got three, three trees this year. Two small ones and a big one. Hey guys, happy Friday. I am super excited because I'm finally off to get my nails done. They have been a hot mess for a few weeks now. But we're actually going to Jason's Christmas staff party tonight, so I thought it would be a good day to fix my nails up again. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm thinking either black and gold or like a nice holiday reddish, burgundy-ish color. I don't know. Anyways, I'll let you guys know. I hope you're having a great day, and I'll check in with you guys in a bit. Got my nails done. I feel like a new woman. Um, I really miss them. So I got this kind of berry color and then a silver glitter gradient on my ring finger. And now I'm just waiting in line at Tim Hortons for a coffee. Hey guys, so we are just getting ready to head to Jason's staff Christmas party. And I just wanted to show you my dress really quickly. Jason just took the kids to his mom's for a sleepover for the night, um, which was super sweet of her. So this is by the brand Burt. Um, if I can find this online, I will link it for you guys. I got it at Envy, but check out the glitz. I love how sparkly this is. It's just, ooh, it's so sparkly and shimmery. And I love all of the beading. There's just so much detail. I love it. Um, so yeah, it's a size medium for reference. Um, it's, it's a different fit. It's a little bit shorter than it probably looks on the hanger there. But um, I have some black pantyhose to wear with it and just some black pumps. So I'll try to take a picture and show you guys how it looks all together. But yeah, I just thought I would share that with you guys and I'll check in with you guys soon. Hey guys, so we are off to the Christmas party and I thought I would just show you guys the makeup that I have on. It's pretty minimal. Um, I didn't do anything too crazy. But I do just want to tell you guys how much I love this lip gloss. Um, it's the Rihanna Universal Lip Gloss. I'm going to show you guys right now, and I'll show you guys the rest of the makeup as well. All right, so as you guys can probably tell, I used really minimal makeup tonight. Um, my dress is really sparkly, so I figured I'd go for more subtle makeup. But I used the Hello Fab um, Coconut Skin Smoothing Priming Moisturizer from First Day Beauty. And then I used the Josie Marin Vibrancy Foundation Fluid, which I love. I set everything with the Too Faced Born This Way Ethereal Setting Powder. Um, for my cheeks, I used the Butter Bronzer to contour and just to bronze all over the skin. For blush, I used my 12-hour um, Amazonian Clay Tarte Blush in Sensual, which I am loving. For highlight, I used my Fenty highlighter and I used the gold side, which I think is called Hustler Baby. Really, really pretty. And then on my eyes, I used my new Bare Minerals, the Hidden Treasures palette. So I used a mixture of wheat and a crew. Yes, wheat and a crew in the crease. And then I threw gemstone all over my lids and that is it. It's like the most simplistic look, but I really like it. And then I've also got on the Fenty Universal Gloss. And you guys, if you don't have this, so, so good. Highly, highly recommend picking this up. It is such a favorite of mine right now, and I love both these Fenty products. I definitely want to check out more from her line, but yeah, that's my minimal makeup look for the Christmas party. Hey guys, so I made another stop to Bath and Body Works today. I wanted to pick up a few Christmas gifts and I thought I would share with you guys what I got. Um, I did have some coupons and there were some pretty good sales on. So I bought six soaps because they were buy three, get three free. So three of these are gonna be gifts for my mother-in-law and then I'm gonna keep the other three for our home. So I got two of the Twisted Peppermint. I got a white sangria, or sorry, a winter sangria, and look how beautiful this packaging is. I love the marble. Oh, 
so so pretty um i got a winter candy apple a pop fizz clink which smells so nice and then an oh what fun and then i also picked up a couple soap holders so my mother-in-law collects like anything and everything nutcracker so i got her this nutcracker soap dispenser it's one of the foaming hand soap dispensers i thought he was so cute I know she'll love him. And then for our bathroom, I picked up this really pretty uh, kind of glitzy snowflake one. I love the iridescent little beads. Then I also decided to buy the tote from Bath & Body Works this year. I love it. I've never picked up the tote before. I've always kind of eyed them, but it was $35. Um, last week, I think you had to spend $35 to get this for $35, but this week it was just $35 alone. And I think it's retailed at over $100. Let's see, where's the price tag? Yeah, $119, that's Canadian. So um, so you get the tote, they had blush and rose gold, which obviously is the one that I chose. They also had a gray and silver, which was really pretty as well. So got the tote and then inside, let me just open it up. So this little box of goodies was on the inside. It smells so good already. Um, and I thought this would be a really good idea to just pick up and then I could divide some of these products up for like teacher gifts and that kind of thing. So well, let's just jump to like my favorite thing in here. This candle, which I think I mentioned in last week's extras is one of my favorites. It's the champagne toast scent and then it has this gorgeous sparkly glitzy lid. I, oh, I love this. So that was in there. Um, and they also had some products from their aromatherapy line. So this is a shower gel. Yeah, it's the Sage and Mint. It smells amazing. Um, they also had the body cream. This is also Sage Mint. Um, and then they have a Winter Candy Apple uh, Super Smooth Body Lotion. Get a little hand sanitizer in Winter Candy Apple. And then last but not least, there is a little hand cream and this is in the scent Berry Sweet. So I thought this would be really nice, like I said, to divide up. Um, I think $35 is a great value. And I mean, like this, this candle alone would make a really pretty gift for someone. So, oh, look, I didn't even notice how pretty the sides were. <gasps> Guys, I love it. So yeah, that was my Bath & Body Works um, haul. Just wanted to show you guys what I picked up. Kids have some friends over downstairs. So you can probably hear a lot of noise, I apologize, but I'm just filling out some Christmas cards and I wanted to show you guys the kid's Santa picture. It turned out so cute. Um, but check out Rai's knees. <laughs> he totally wiped out on his way to see Santa. And I mean, the kid cannot keep his pants or sneakers clean, but I feel like, I don't know. I just love this photo so much because it's like, the epitome of my children. Oh my God, I love it. I don't even care if his knees are dirty. They are so cute, but I just thought that was kind of cute. And Santa, what's up with him? He looks scared for his life. Most of the time the kids look scared with Santa, but uh, not my kids. <laughs> my kids scare Santa. I'm just kidding. But anyway, I just love this picture. Thought I would share. So I think I'm probably going to end this weekly extras um, on a really honest note because someone left me a note the other day saying like, you know, I love how you, how you always share healthy recipes. And yes, I really do try. I really do try to eat well, but you guys, chocolates, chocolates are my weakness. I bought this box of chocolates for Jason's grandmother for Christmas. And the other day I had a real craving and this is what happened. I mean, I didn't eat them all in one sitting, but over the course of about 24 hours, Jason might've had one. Anyway, just thought I'd have a real moment with you guys and I will see you next week.